Welcome, friends. I'm Chris Crooks. And I'm Matt Crooks. We're the co-founders of Rogueware. So what is Freeholder about? You and two comrades, Lydia and Caius, are escaped slaves fleeing from your master in the south of Gaul during the twilight years of Republican Rome. The three of you make it to the northern frontier of Rome's occupation, where you find an abandoned and ransacked farm that you agree to run together. However, a corrupt census taker finds you and forces you to grow wheat and bribe him to maintain his silence. The first part of the game involves you figuring out a way to get rid of him, growing stronger and collecting resources even as you must meet his increasingly ridiculous annual demands. The number of different things you can do in Freeholder can seem a bit overwhelming at first, but actually, in order to progress to the next turn, you simply have to meet two monthly criteria. Don't starve, and don't freeze. On top of that are two yearly criteria. Have enough wheat in storage, and have enough money on hand. These get larger each year, as your land expands and the census taker gets greedier. Meeting these goals will take most or all of your actions for the first year. As characters level up, however, they get more actions and change into classes that aid with specific action types, freeing you up to complete more secondary goals. Crafting equipment, adding and upgrading buildings, gathering medicine, fighting bandits, shipping goods, and much, much more. The game is meant to expand your options as you get better at it, and allow a limitless number of playstyles built around a set of core requirements. Execution of Freeholder is not dissimilar to worker placement board games like Agricola, except every worker is an RPG-style character with statistic skills and equipment that can be customized, and gets multiple actions each turn rather than just one. Furthermore, each tile is a dynamic entity rather than a static space, and has its own stats and idiosyncrasies that change over time and with place. For example, forests need time to replenish trees, local game resources become scarce if you overexploit them, and certain medicines are only found in particular terrains in particular seasons. The procedurally generated nature of this game makes it a new experience each time you play. It is meant to be difficult, but your progress will eventually be measured by an endgame score. There will even be an Iron Man mode without saving for gamers who really want the roguelike experience. It would be a sandbox game without the hard and fast goals that keep your play focused through the initial years of the game. It is a blend of survival, farming, economics, warfare, and espionage that is highly ambitious but represents the ideal game from our point of view. A game that has something for everybody, but does not sacrifice depth for breadth. You want to raise animals? No problem. Sneak around and bribe town officials to help you? Sure. Beat up bandits and take their stuff? Absolutely. Cast ancient magics and mix powerful potions? Yep. Or if you want to sit around and try to carve the perfect marble statue? Why, you can do that too. We believe by removing as many limits as possible, we allow the gamer's own imagination to take center stage. When we can accomplish this, then we will definitely have a great game. At this point, the crowdfunded Early Access Alpha is almost a meme. There are many projects worthy of your consideration. What's special about Freeholder, other than being an intriguing blend of many of our favorite genres and a highly replayable package, you may ask? With Patreon, we have a unique opportunity to steer the development of this game in a direction determined by our patrons. Although you unquestionably help development of this game with your financial contribution, the thing this game really needs to be great is your involvement. Freeholder has many factors being juggled at the same time, and we require many playthroughs to get the difficulty and rewards tweaked just right. With the aid of the community, we can build this game precisely in the direction that interests all of you. Most of the core systems originally conceived by us are fully functional in the game. There are various upgrades, advanced classes, and political systems we have been devising for the second phase of the game, which is mostly unimplemented. Your own critiques and suggestions will be fused with our core designs into a truly community-driven build that from its inception was designed to have something for everyone. An ambitious project requires some really far-sighted supporters, and we know that those of you interested in seeing Freeholder come more and more to life understand the unique fusion of genres and rare opportunity in development history this game represents. Check out our Patreon page to see how you can become a part of this exciting project, and follow us on Twitter, at Rogue Brothers. Make sure to check out the playable demo of the game. Try it, and we believe you'll be as excited as we are. Thanks for watching, and for supporting our game. Join us and become a rogue today.